Praise the Lord. This is once more Dr. Ozo. And then uh, I want to talk about experiencing repeated or continued dream. What happens when you experience a dream repeatedly or reoccurring like a decimal in your dream, in your dream state? Or when you wake up from a dream, ease yourself, come back and continue exactly where you start, as if it's choreographed, as if it was state managed. What does all those mean? So we want to take two examples from the scripture. Because the Bible says in the matter of two or three witnesses, every fact shall be established. Let's take example of Joseph, the dreamer. And of course, Daniel is another example. But let's stay with Joseph first. Because God used these two people differently. Joseph interprets dream by you telling him the dream. Then... He will give you the interpretation and the application as well as timing. Daniel is used on a deeper level. Daniel will recreate the dream. He will tell you your dream, give you the explanation or the interpretation as well as the application. So it's the same God, the same gift, but different operation and different level and dimension of manifestation. Now, let's jump right into our topics. Because if you've been dreaming some dream, and that dream keep on repeating itself in different fashion, in different forms, in different scenario, know that that dream is a destiny dream. It has something to do with your destiny, or God is warning you about something you have not taken care of. Or it has to do with precaution, direction, problem solving, or something you've been praying for and you have not received an answer. And you don't seem to perceive that God is speaking to you through this dream. And that's why God kept on repeating himself because you don't get it. God doesn't normally repeat himself. He repeats himself for emphasis. And we're going to see it in this teaching today. Now, the other dream also has to do with destiny equally. It can be problem solving, it can be for precaution, it can be for direction, it can be for warning. It can be something that is so important in your destiny, in your life, or something that is even life-threatening or an emergency that you need to take care of, even in your spiritual sensitivity or spiritual doldrum or spiritual complacency. So we want to look at it today. Experience repeated or contrary. Now, let's look at Genesis chapter 41, 32. I want to read an IV version. Let's use Joseph as a case study. The dream Joseph interpreted to Pharaoh. It's one dream, but in two different shapes, in two different dimensions. And let's see what David, uh, sorry, what Joseph said to Pharaoh. Don't forget that spiritual laws are the same. Spiritual laws are parallel. They are like two edges sword. The same way in interpretation of dream, visions, parables, riddles, similes, metaphors, and, uh, and what is called allegories, including proverbs. Now the reason the dream was given to Pharaoh in two forms is that the matter has been firmly decided by God and God will do it soon. In other words, when a matter is established in the realm of the spirit, when it has been concretized, when it has been prepared, packaged, and pending, and it's just a portion of time, very soon, imminent, it then means that God will repeat it. It's surely established, anchored, firmly rooted, in the realm of the spirit. In that case, it's hard to change. 
But if it's a negative dream, you have to do something about it, especially three days dry or water fast. What I call activated, activating the mystery of righteousness, the mystery of victory. Now let's look at New Living Translation in the complementary revelation, the Barari translation. As for having two similar dreams, it means that these events have been decreed by God and he will soon make them happen. I'm still reading from Genesis 41, 32. I'm reading now in the New Living Translation. So, we now found that. Remember, I always talk about the law of emergence. The law of contact, emergence, and the law of manifestation. That everything starts in the realm of the spirit. That God is spiritual. God is a spirit. He deals with us from where he is, from his own vantage point, from his own perspective. Things will happen in that realm. Now, dream can come from God or the Holy Spirit. God moves by his spirit. It can come from Satan or evil spirit or demonic cause or wickedness. Or it can come from you, the human spirit. So, dreams and visions are gateways or windows to the supernatural and the subconscious. Things in you you don't even know that is there. Dream can bring it that. Now, if you understand this interpretation and application, you discover that any time a dream is repeated is very important, is vital, is critical. It is a destiny dream. It's a powerful dream. It's a dream you cannot shake off. It's a dream you cannot ignore or neglect or treat with levity or be careless in any way, shape, or form. That's why I encourage people to get a dream journal. Now, when God says something once, it is important. When he says it twice, it is very important. It is critical. But when he says it three times, it's indispensable. And if it is a bad dream, don't wait for it to be repeated. For instance, there are crisis dream or life-threatening dream. Like if you see witchcraft dream, somebody pointing a gun at you or stabbing you or killing you in the dream or something violent in the dream or seeing yourself in a casket like Abraham Lincoln did and did not did nothing about it. Please, it's not time to wait for it to be repeated. That is the time to do something there and then immediately. It's an emergency. So I want to read another verse of the scripture to portray what we've been saying. I want to go to Job 33, 13. And you know the book of Job is the most ancient manuscript in the whole scripture. And I want to start with 13, but I want to pick it up from 14. The reason is that sometimes people say, oh, God does not answer my prayers. I've been praying, I've been fasting, I've been talking to God. God doesn't want to answer. God is saying that the fault is not from you. It's through your spiritual doldrum or insensitivity or complacency or your inability to build your spirit man and spirit capacity and your spirit antenna and sensitivity to receive. Here, he said, why do you complain to him that he responds to no one or no one words? This is a fancy word of saying, oh, God is not answering my prayer. For God speaks again and again, I'm picking up from 14, though people do not recognize it. He speaks in dreams, in visions of the night, when deep sleep falls on people as they lie in their base. And of course, the Bible says he opened their ears and selected instructions. So your dream is instruction for construction. Your dream is instruction that removes destruction if you obey the instruction for construction. So here is making us realize from the book of Job that God speaks once, speaks twice. In other words, he's repeating it, telling us how important it is, but we still don't perceive it. We still don't sense it. We still don't bring it from the subconscious to the natural mind where we decode, interpret, analyze, and apply the dream for our benefit, for our destiny to move us forward, upward and Godward, to fulfill God's plan and purpose 
or to avoid a danger or harm or to solve a problem or to recover for relief, you know, revelation knowledge so that we can walk in victory. God is always looking out for his children. Now, when your dream is repeated and in this continued, these two verses will give us the clue on what to do and why it is so. Even in the dream of Nebuchadnezzar, the dream of the golden statue happened twice. One is the golden image he has set up. One was illustrated with a tree. But it was the same dream. And the Daniel said, the dream is sure, the interpretation is certain, and of course the application is final. It's already rectified in the realm of the spirit. So child of God, don't ignore any dream that has been repeated or have been showing up in your dream radar repeatedly, continuously. You dream it, it comes back intermittently, once in a while, it keeps on repeating itself. If you don't, after the second time, the dream will start manifesting in the natural at the third time. So don't let it happen at all. Be sensitive. Get this information for transformation. And then also, when the dream continues, after you woke up from sleep and then went back to sleep and picks up from where he stopped, then that dream has important information. It's necessary for your destiny. It's necessary to protect you, to preserve you. It's necessary to help you solve a naughty problem or an issue or a secret or revelation or something you don't know God wanted you to know that is a mystery to you and you've been praying and crying to God. So this is exactly how God works. God bless you. Talk to you later. This is Dr. Zo. Bye-bye.